A lot of people talk to me about solar panel technology. What's the future of it? Does it work? Well, the answer is that solar panels have been around for a very long time in the form of metal pipes which get hot and heat your water. But when we're talking about using silicon-based technology for photovoltaic cells, these are cells which when they are lit by sunlight produce a small voltage then unfortunately the payback period is still a very long one unless you get a big government subsidy. We're talking maybe 10, 20, 30, 40 years depending on the efficiency of the units. Having said that, the current units which have been only maybe 8% efficient in terms of capturing the amount of energy that's falling on those plates, have, well they will be soon replaced by units that can give maybe 16% energy efficiency but it's still expensive it's still one of the most costly ways to save a ton of carbon compared to things like offsetting and uh, um, using oh, I don't know wind power or just insulating your home so without government support it's difficult to see how it will take off and yet here is an irony which is that if governments were to support it if governments were to insist, for example, that 50% of all new roofs on new buildings were coated with these things, then you would see such huge volumes of sales overnight that we would get the economies of scale that we need to drive the costs down to a point where it might actually be worth someone doing it without a subsidy. So, that's a strange thing and it's an opportunity that's been recognized by the German government who have been offering big amounts of money for anyone who wants to sell the electricity they make themselves into the national grid. And they've guaranteed those supply prices for the next 20 years. And this has given a massive boost to solar cell technologies and it's the reason why 70% of all sales of solar cells in 2008 will be to homes or businesses or industries in Germany. And it's the reason why a big chunk of those solar cells that are bought will be made in Germany. So Germany is taking a massive leap into the future in solar cell technology. But for the rest of us, it's still a wait and see.